we will learn a process through which we can connect VS code with IBM I machine so in our previous session we discussed like how to download VS code into system and install it so for now we are going to discuss the another process through which we will connect our VS code with IBM I machine so for that simply you have to double click on your icon that is for VS code so once your application is started then we have to install one extension that we will use to connect IBM I machine with VS code so to install that extension you have to click on this icon which is extensions so just click here so once you click here it will open the extension search bar where you can search the keyword IBM I after that you will see some uh, kind of uh, extension from this list you can select this one code for IBM I so once you click here it will open the window for this particular extension and just simply click on install so it will take few a few seconds and then it will be installed and once it is installed you will see the one more icon here for IBM I and that we will use to uh, connect it with IBM I machine so let's wait for a few seconds and then yeah so it is done now it means the code for IBM I is downloaded now you what you need to do you have to just simply click here on this IBM I button before that I will close all my opening tag and just click on IBM I so it will show you this kind of screen uh, I have already set up few of my connections here that's why it is showing those existing connection but if you want to create a new connection then there you will be one option for you for new connection so once you click on that new connection it will ask you some information so for now we can click here on plus which is same as for new connection so just click on plus and here you can give the connection name so let's say I want to save it with name as test2 because one is already there so I will click or you can make it as a test machine after that you have to put your host or IP address here which is www.pub400.com so as we are using pub400 we can pass the IP address as it is then pub400 is provide SSH or port as Tetra 2 so we can use this Tetra 2 or all 2 for connecting it with IBM I using pub400 right and then you have to pass your username and password so this is the same that we use here on green screen while login so you can enter those username and password so for my case it is Sharmit my username is Sharmit and you can put your password if you want to save your password for future purpose you can select this otherwise you can simply click uh, click on this connect so i don't want to save it for future purpose so i'm leaving it as it is and i'm clicking on connect post that it will start few process to connect it with the ipmi machine so let's wait for final setup So here you can see that it is installing few things and fetching some information so it is connected now okay so maybe you can see your uh, connection name here if it is not connected you can simply click on that and then you will be able to see these information so these information are user library list object browser and IFS browser so suppose I want to see some uh, source code from my existing library that is already there so just simply click on this object browser these are the option that we will discuss in upcoming session in brief like how we can use uh, set the library list how we can browse the members how we can access the file in IFS and how we can uh, create the program in RPG uh, with PS code and simply we can compile it also from here okay so for now I'm just showing you all the information that we can see here so here it will ask it will show you all the list that we are in our 
that we are having in our library list so you can compare it with this command so whenever you hit this command edtl ibl will show you these libraries so same you are see seeing here also okay so this is my current library which is shermit one so this these all information we can find in this tab now second one is object browser if you want to fetch some in resources from this uh, this option so like from your library so what you need to you have to create one filter so just click here on create new filter so filter name is filter one we can keep it as it is then you can put your library here so i want to fetch my data from my library share with one and object here you can pass your source physical file name so let's say we want to see the data or code from this library so i want to see this q share or you can change it so let's say to see the sources from here this library q free src let's find it here so i will simply pass here q free src where all my free source code are there okay then you can keep other option as it is because this is the source physical file so we will keep it as star src.pf we want to fetch all the members all type of members so just click on save settings post that the filter is there you can simply click here so it will expand all the information so right now we have selected for q free src so just expand it and here you will see all the sources that we are having in this q free src so let's say i want to see this source code abs.rpgle so it is there okay so in this way you can see all the source member here in your vs code sometime it might be possible that you see some garbage value here in the program so that is due to the ccs id difference so that we will also discuss in upcoming session like how to set the ccs id while creating the program that we can use here in vs code as well okay so for this session we are just looking at how to browse the sources and all okay so let me unexpand these things because we have already discussed about the object browser there you can set some again create filters this is for creating the new library if you want to create new library and go to the file right so these are the options that you can explore and we will also discuss in this upcoming sessions and another tab or option is for ifs browser so if i compare it with green screen then you can hit this command work lnk which show your ifs location and all the sources or directories we are having in this ifs location same you can find here as well so you can see the path is home and share myth. so if i expand it it will show all the directory the, that we are having there in this location okay so which is same here so in this way you can browse or navigate your ibmi sources objects and user library in brief we will discuss in upcoming session so for this session this is the whole thing that we want to discuss uh, like how to connect your machine with the ibmi and how simply we can browse it all the features of it so yeah that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will learn few more things so thank you for watching tech